Hey guys, it's Phoenix Android Radios here, and in today we're going to show you how to connect the Apple iPhone wireless CarPlay. If you're going to do this wirelessly, this is how to do it. And if you're going to do a wired though, you will just connect your iPhone to the USB 1 port or it's going to say OTG. That's for the wired portion of the CarPlay. Uh, iPhone currently is the only one that can do wireless CarPlay. We are working on the wireless Android. Android is Android Auto. Uh, iPhone is Apple CarPlay. So there's a couple ways to get to the application, but the app that we are opening is Z-Link. And you can open it from the apps drawer here or can open it from the Car Auto app at the top. Uh, so let's open it from the Car Auto app. Once we open Z-Link, the way to tell if you have wireless Apple CarPlay is if you have a red box here. And that means it is wireless Apple CarPlay compatible. With that said, we need to go to here and then we need to go to settings, more settings, network and internet. Right now the radio is connected to our Wi-Fi in the building, so, but we don't need that. In order to do wireless CarPlay, we need to have the hotspot and tethering on. So let's press that and turn it on. Now you can set the hotspot password here. Our password here is two words together, all characters, no spaces, uh, no numbers, and all lowercase. Press OK. And the hotspot name will be called AP6750. So we need to be connecting the radio's wireless hotspot to our phone's uh, Wi-Fi. So let's turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. Once we've done that, it will disable your Wi-Fi so that it no longer connects to our building's internet. So you can only use the uh, CarPlay at this point for internet. Now we can go to Car Auto, and we also need to do a Bluetooth connection. The Bluetooth connection is needed for the initial handshake. Once it's connected wirelessly, you can actually disconnect Bluetooth or turn off Bluetooth. So now on our phone, we are gonna go to settings and our Bluetooth is off right now. Let's turn that on. And let's connect uh, our Bluetooth. So first we'll go to the Bluetooth app up here and Bluetooth devices here. Our phone is name is Bobby Frank, so it will show up. Okay, so our OBD showed up. And there's our Bobby Frank, so we'll press that and the green. And our phone should ask for confirmation. There you go, Bluetooth pairing request, pair, allow. And now that it's connected to Bluetooth, you can see it is connecting wirelessly CarPlay. So you see Z-Link opened up. Turn on Wi-Fi and use CarPlay. Okay, sure. But uh, in order for this to connect, you do need to connect to the Wi-Fi on the radio. So if you recall AP, you can see AP, it is connected to Android AP, or it's trying to connect to Android AP. And now it is connected. So you can see now it is wireless and CarPlay not available. So I think, let me see, to use CarPlay and enable Siri in the settings app on your phone. I need to enable Siri on my iPhone in order for this to work. So let me just do that really quick. So you can see I have uh, enabled Siri on my iPhone and now the image is showing and I can control my phone from the wireless Apple CarPlay. Right now the Wi-Fi, my phone is connected to the radio, the Android AP underscore uh, 7605. And the Bluetooth on my iPhone is on, however, the Bluetooth is not connected to the radio. So you can see Android AP is connected through Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is on, but the BT is not connected. So when a phone call comes in, uh, it will show up on the CarPlay and there will, no be, there will not have a Bluetooth hovering window. 
Uh, so that's how to connect the wireless Apple CarPlay.